So what is multitasking? Does it exist or is it bullshit? I, I don't think, and I can't believe I'm saying this, Jody Bentley here, actor, producer, and career coach. And today I want to talk about um, is multitasking bullshit. So I have to preface this by saying um, my husband and I have been in a debate for weeks now about multitasking and if it really exists. And uh, he says that you you cannot focus on more than one thing at a time. It's you're actually focusing. Multitasking is really on focusing on this thing, then this thing, then this thing, then this thing. But you're not focusing on all four at a time. That you can only focus on one thing at a time. So this statement completely triggered me because I pride myself on being a multitasker. <laughs> and I was like, hold on. So we've been in a debate about it. Um, and here's what I've come up with. Because look, I can cook dinner and listen to a podcast. I can walk the dog and answer a text while I'm doing that. I can drive and talk on the phone over Bluetooth. I can do those things. That's multitasking, right? But I can't write an article and listen to music. I, might, I need all my brain focused on that article or working on that character, right? I can't answer emails while I'm on the phone. It's too much of my, my brain feels split. I can't do that. I can't work on a scene and text someone at the same time, right? I need to focus on one or the other in that moment because the scene needs my attention. So, so what is multitasking? Does it exist or is it bullshit? So look, I think... I think multitasking can exist with, I'll just say, like mundane tasks at once. Kind of like what I said about cooking dinner, listen to a podcast. You can easily do those things, right? Um, because the, you're cooking dinner, I'm chopping vegetables by rote and listening. Oh, now I have to read the, the recipe. So my brain goes there and I can put that in. Then I go back to the podcast. But those can easily flow, right? So I can do two, again, mundane tasks at the same time. But what about the bigger projects, the creative projects, the analytical projects, or projects that just require more brain power from me. I, I don't think, and I can't believe I'm saying this, and I'm saying it on the record now, I don't think you can multitask those. I hate admitting my husband's right. I don't think you can multitask those. What I think it actually is, what I think the skill actually is, is the ability to prioritize. So let me let me explain this. Like if I have an hour to, to cook dinner um, answer emails and uh, do a brainstorming session on, um, uh, say, a, a title for a new product I want to launch. So how do I do this? Well, um, I'm going to go put the bo uh, boil the, the water on the stove. I'm going to set that first. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to answer emails. Oh, now the water's boiled. I'm going to go get the box of spaghetti. I can dump that in. Um, great. I'm going to go back to the emails, wait for that to boil. I'm going to get the sauce. Right? You can go back and forth. I can go back and forth with that in my hour and prioritize the chain of events. Then, or if it's something, I'm chopping vegetables to put something in the oven or whatever the dinner is, then it goes in the oven. Then I can sit down for 20 minutes and do a brainstorm right? But then I'm, my focus is on that. But really, it's about the prioritization of the time to be able to accomplish all of that in the hour. Because a lot of times what happens is I have to answer emails and we spend an hour just answering emails because we haven't given ourselves time constraints. We haven't structured out any other priorities, right? So we, we just focus on that. And sometimes things take a lot longer or we stretch it out because we're procrastinating um, or checking Facebook in between, right? But if you can sit down with focused energy and a plan, you can accomplish more than one thing in that hour, but you got to prioritize the tasks for those things and the order in which to do them uh, for maximum time and efficiency. And that's what I really think multitasking is, is the ability to prioritize for maximum uh, efficiency in, in how you're approaching something. So, so multitasking, I think it does exist for easy tasks. I think it doesn't exist for analytical creative tasks that require more focused energy from you. So there we go. That's my assessment of multitasking. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you do think it, it exists, if you give me some examples, or if you really um, agree with me about the prioritization of events and being able to balance those is really multitasking. Multitasking equals balancing, but you're really putting your attention as my husband said, on one thing at a time. All right, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.